Okay, so let's solve this simultaneous equation. <coughs> okay, so I'll label this equation 1 and this one equation 2. Okay, and what I'm looking to do is multiply this equation here by 3 so that I get 6x and this one here by 2 so I get 6x so I'm going to take equation 1 and I'm going to multiply it by 3 so 3 times 2x 6x 3 times 3 9y and 3 times 6 18 and then take equation 2 and I'm going to multiply that by 2 so 3x times 2 6x minus 4y equals 44. Um, I'm then going to add uh, subtract one away from the other. So 6x minus 6x gives me 0. 9y minus minus 4y is going to give me 13y. And then 18 minus 44, that's going to give me minus 26. Okay, so solving this now, I can find out that y equals minus 26 divided by 2, 13, sorry, which is going to be minus 2. Okay, so I now go back to, let's say, the first equation where I know that 2x plus 3y equals 6. Substituting in y equals minus 2, I've got 2x plus minus 6 equals 6. Let's solve that. So 2x, add 6 to both sides, cancels out the minus 6. 2x equals 12, x equals 6. Let's go back and check this works for this equation here. So 3 lots of 6 minus 2 lots of minus 2. Let's check that works. 3 lots of 6 is 18 minus 2 lots of minus 2 is minus 4. 18 minus minus 4 is 22. Is that the same as that value there? Yep, it is. So my two values are x is 6 and y equals minus 2. So here I've used an elimination method by multiplying this by 3 and by 2. It allows me to eliminate the x, leaving me an equation with just y. Solve it for y. Substitute in y into one of the equations to find x. And then go back and check the values.